So what happened? You got stuck in the mud here on the side? That's what happened. Well, are you two-wheel drive or four? Two. Hey guys, Andre here. When I heard that an ETL Overland military chassis RV was in town, I jumped at the chance to see it. Just imagine, going off the grid for about a week in any weather and over any terrain in this monster truck. I got to go on a mini adventure in the Rocky Mountains and we were happy to rescue a friend in need. So what, what you have behind me right now is an ETL Adventure Series box. It's part of our Tough Road series and it is the ultimate off-road 4x4 adventure vehicle. It's built on a Stuart & Stevens surplus military chassis. This vehicle is only 26 and a half feet long. It is 13 feet tall as it sits there today. Legal limit in all 50 states is 13.6. So you're safe to pull into gas stations without taking the roof off. We start off with our U-shaped dinette in back designed to seat at least six people. Really what makes this whole thing probably as interesting as everything is I've actually hidden your bed right up here. So at a push of a button, we can drop your bed down. And this is a two position bed. And just in case you happen to bring the kids with you, we also have another bed that folds out. So in an overall interior length of only 19 feet, we actually have room for four adults and two kids, total sleeping for six. We're sitting at 10,000, just over 10,000 pounds on the front axle and just over 10,400 pounds on the rear axle. And that was with a full load of water as well as a full complement of supplies for going out and exploring the, the great outdoors. We have a TV that pulls out and rotates, kind of walking up the stack a little bit. We also include on this model 400 watts of solar. What people really get excited about is what's on this side, which is actually a full shower that is large enough for an actual adult to stand up in and take a shower. We have in this model a Dometic refrigerator with a few things in it. <laughs> um, this is a three-way refrigerator, both DC, AC as well as propane. So what's the startup procedure on this beast? Yeah, the startup procedure is actually pretty simple. There's a main power button you turn on. Once you've done that, push button start. Once that is fired up, your transmission controls are over here. It's basically drive, neutral, and reverse. And your main emergency brake is this button. So you step on the brake, put it into gear, Push your emergency brake, and you're ready to roll. So what happened? You got stuck in the mud here on the side? That's what happened. Well, are you two-wheel drive or four? Two. Two-wheel drive? Yeah. Well, we'll give you a hand because we just have the vehicle for the job. Well, I appreciate it, guys. Saving okay. me a lot. Uh, well, sorry, dude. You got you have to climb in the mud down there, dude. Not a problem. But at least we'll get you on your way. That's right. And then just latch it back onto itself. And that should work. Are you ready over there? Okay, let's go slow. She's moving. Two wheel drive little S10. 
Got a little bit into a uh, soft mud. Have to re -spool it, huh? I think we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have to re spool it once we get over. I'll tell him to give it a little bit of gas and see if he can. Uh... Can you move? Thank you guys so much. All right. Don't back over me. I won't back over. Let's hope you got a camera. Thanks, man. Have fun. Thank you. So this actually has a cat motor under the hood. We, as well as an Allison seven-speed dual mode transmission. It, in highway mode, it sends 70% of the power to the rear wheels, 30% to the front. In off-road mode, it goes to true 50-50 uh, split in your torque. Additionally, this vehicle also has a tire, central tire inflation system. You have a controller in the cab that allows you to air it down to both uh, cross-country mode as well as sand mode and what they call emergency mode, which is when you really get yourself in trouble and you, you need as much traction as physically possible. So this is your air box, right? The engine is actually underneath the cab. Yeah, the engine itself is actually underneath the cab. That's, this is referred to as a cab over. Yeah. It's partially why we have that great gearbox up on the top with the off-road lights on it. But this is our 400 pound tire. <laughs> Mounted to the back, you can see we've been running up and down dirt roads, getting up yeah. here to the high country. Yeah. So we've gotten some nice mud on the back of this, um, but there's a 3,000 pound winch that you use to actually lower this tire down. Okay. That way you can change a tire and winch the new tire back up. And the winch is in, where is the winch located? The winch is actually internally mounted to our, to our I-beam system. It's also important though that we can drive it on road, which is why we've included this three part camera system. You have both left and right cameras, as well as a, re a reverse camera. All of the cameras have night vision on them so that they will illuminate even at night. Move our door out of the way. You got 60 gallon diesel fuel tank. Uh, so what kind of a range can people expect, let's say in general? You know, we've been running back and forth to Moab over the last couple of weeks, kind of enjoying this great spring weather. And we've been averaging about eight and a half miles to the gallon. So if you don't want to make yourself too nervous, you know, you easily are, are up in the 250 to 300 mile range before you have to worry about filling up with fuel. I, I'm originally from Southwest Missouri, but I've been up here for four years. We got World Expedition vehicles up in uh, Ozark. Yep. So, but exact same thing. Yeah, we is know it exact... is a little different. A little, a little, <laughs> and a little bit better. Exact same concept. <laughs> Similar concept. We do, we do have a lot of respect for the guys at Global oh, yeah. Expedition, but uh, we, we think we've got a, uh, a good product ourselves. Yeah, no, no doubt. Did you guys do a testing then? Uh, we're actually doing a little bit of Like fishing. a little bit of video, yeah, yeah. Awesome. This RV is based on a LMTV military chassis 4x4. When ETL Overland is done with it, a unit like this goes for around $150,000.